One of my favorite movies is the classic movie Forrest Gump. And one of the best things that come from that movie is my mama always said, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. For quite some time, chocolate has actually been seen as a guilty pleasure and one of the first things that people take out of their diet. However, I'm here to tell you what you actually get in that box of chocolates and how it benefits you. Some people believe that chocolate is bad for your health, but research studies show otherwise. With chocolate, all aspects of your life improve, including health, your mood, and your lifestyle. A world without chocolate is like a world full of rain and gray clouds. So it's start, time to start embracing chocolate, beginning with learning what it is and what is so great about it. So, what is chocolate? Chocolate is usually a sweet brown food preparation of roasted and ground cacao seeds. It's usually made in the form of liquid, paste, or in a block, and can even be used as flavoring for other foods. The earliest evidence of it goes all the way back to the Olmecs in the 1900 BC. It was used as a bitter, healthy chocolate beverage. Chocolate is so versatile and can be used in different ways such as desserts, savory foods, and even beverages. But chocolate is not only versatile in the way you can ingest it, but it's also versatile in the way it benefits you. For example, as Dave Asprey in 2018 wrote, chocolate for a better mood, chocolate for anti-aging, chocolate for glowing skin and sun protection. There was an experiment done to test how chocolate affects people's moods in high stress situations. Those who consumed cocoa drinks actually performed better and they had less mental fatigue. Asprey also stated that it's the flavonol epicotechin in chocolate which is responsible for mitogenesis, which is the production of mitochondria, which help you actually look younger. And studies actually back it up. Lastly, a study showed that women who ingested cocoa had less sunburns, thicker skin, and less water loss. These are just a few health benefits. But people do believe chocolate is bad for you, and they lean on the belief that it's high in sugar, as well as of its common use for desserts. For example, Jennings in 2018 wrote, chocolate is high in calories. Chocolate tends to be higher in calories due to the sugar and cocoa butter that's added to it. Also, Jennings in 2018 wrote, chocolate contains caffeine. So a whole bar of chocolate actually equals about the same amount as a cup of coffee. And considering children are some of the biggest intakers, of chocolate, that's a lot of caffeine for some little bodies. So, however, research actually shows that chocolate can also be very beneficial. For example, Jennings in 2018 wrote, it's heart healthy. It was published in 2010 that they found that women who ate one or two ounces of chocolate a week had a 32% lower risk of heart failure than women who ate no chocolate. I'm not saying people that ate way more than one or two ounces, but ate no chocolate at all. Although chocolate does contain caffeine, it's better for the health if it's ingested moderately. Also, Jennings in 2018 wrote, it's almost a deadly food. So preliminary findings show that flavanol in the natural cocoa helps prevent fats and starches from other foods. So although it's known for high calories, the right natural chocolate can reduce that problem. Even though I've stated chocolate is good for your health, it also makes your life generally better altogether. For example, Alison Spiegel in 2014 wrote, chocolate may help you in math class. It can calm you down. It's a great way to bond with your kids. The flavonoids that chocolate contains could help people with their math skills. There's still some studies going around, but it's been a little bit of a preliminary, and there has been some showings that actually show that the math skills do increase when people do eat chocolate. Also, according to studies, people who ate chocolate were calmer than people who didn't, despite the caffeine level that's in chocolate. Lastly, almost all children love chocolate, 
And what better way to bond with them than eating it, drinking it, or even making unique recipes that involve it together? Considering chocolate makes people calmer, puts them in a better mood, and contains a lot of health benefits, how would the world be without chocolate? Everyone knows the saying, happy wife, happy life. Women and children are some of the main consumers of chocolate, and without it, there would be a lot more upset people. Honestly, men may not have a happy life. Right now, women are actually starting to feel ashamed when they eat a bite of chocolate, but it's just if it's just once a day or a few times a week, they should be doing it with pride. That chocolate might just save a man from a big outburst. So, despite what health trends may state, chocolate is indeed beneficial for you and your health. If people could take it moderately, it can improve all aspects of their life, not just the health part. It's time to stop eating in the closet or even hiding under your clothes and just embrace it with different recipes, whether it's savory or sweet, food or drink. If we continue to shame chocolate, one day it won't be around anymore, and the actual effects it has on our lives will start to fade away. Thank you for listening, and I hope you go eat chocolate and have a better life.